And that breaking news, a big break in the Ashanti Billy disappearance. This suspect, retired Navy man Eric Brown, is accused of kidnapping Billy in September on Joint Expeditionary Base Little Creek. Investigators linked Brown's DNA to evidence in the case after getting a tip. A tip came from a construction worker who saw a surveillance video obtained exclusively by 13 News Now. The video showed a man getting out of Billy's car and tossing Billy's cell phone into a dumpster. September 29th, someone found Billy's body outside a church in Charlotte, North Carolina. Investigators say Brown attended that church as a child. You see right there on the left side of your screen, hours ago, Brown made his first court appearance in federal court in Norfolk. Reporter Robert Boyd live outside the courthouse with an update on that. Well, Regina and David, a mountain of evidence against this suspect, Eric Brown. It starts uh, with the blimpies on base where Ashante worked. Uh, multiple uh, people saying that Brown would go in there almost every single day and flirt with Ashante. Then you have all that security video, surveillance video from a neighborhood uh, where a coworker of Brown's says he saw him getting out of Ashante's car uh, the day she was reported missing and then ditching her cell phone. And of course, the evidence really mounts up uh, when it comes to her body, her, her remains being found behind uh, that church in Charlotte uh, because as you mentioned Brown grew up just a couple hundred yards away from that church where the remains were found and the DNA uh, lots of DNA found on Ashanti's clothing and that DNA goes right back to Brown uh, the FBI says there would have to be a one in 2.7 quadrillion chance it's not Eric Brown uh, they also say the internet history uh, Eric Brown had been following this place very very closely throughout he obviously had a vested interest and then the FBI questioned Eric Brown and this might be uh, one of the most bizarre instances of all in this case when they questioned Eric Brown about Ashanti's disappearance he said he had blacked out during the time she disappeared and also said uh, that he didn't even know if he did anything to her now the community is uh, definitely relieved tonight they have been following this case very closely from the very beginning uh, it felt like a Shante uh, was a niece or daughter or granddaughter uh, to all these people out there. Uh, a lot of people volunteering their time to look for her. It was just a humble experience. People took time out of their days to donate food, to help pay for the hotel room, to provide searches, to share the flyer, to just talk about it. And people are concerned. I mean, it's not a place or a time that I don't go by that people are asking me what's going on. Where is Ashanti? Where is Ashanti's killer? How is the family feeling? Now, I was in court today when uh, he uh, made his initial appearance, uh, Eric Brown, uh, before the judge, and he didn't show much emotion. Uh, he just uh, sat there, stood there, listened to the judge. The attorney did all the talking, and he'll be back in court on November 14th. Of course, we'll continue to follow this case throughout. Live in Norfolk, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now. Well, because of this arrest, the Billy family says it is closer to closure. 13 News Now anchor Janet Roach is here with emotional reaction to this breaking news from Billy's parents. Regina and David, 13 News Now talked to Brandy and Meltoni Billy the day Ashanti disappeared. The entire time Ashanti was missing, they pushed for answers. Tonight, the parents say they are grateful that Brown has been arrested, but now they have even more questions. Today, um, I'm, I'm angry again. I've been angry one time before, and now I'm angry again because this was this was a, a veteran that did this to us. Um, she's the she was a child of veterans. She's been around the military her whole life, and I feel that there have been failures the whole way down. Well, the parents say this is a horrible experience and they, it showed them that the importance of bringing attention to all missing persons cases around the country, regardless of race. And the FBI says the arrest was the result of a group effort in a statement. Christina Pullen with the FBI in Norfolk thanked Virginia Beach, Norfolk and Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Departments, NCIS and the U.S. Navy. Now, the Billy family plans to come to Norfolk tomorrow and you can count on 13 News Now to stay on top of this big story. David and Regina, back to you.